Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Jonas Marshall, the Hall, please give a very warm welcome to our guest this evening in the White House on the 1st of July, 2009. To Lower Mountain. Thank you very much indeed. Please, Lower Mountain. Good evening all and uh, thank you very much uh, Garney and Dominic for inviting me here this evening. Uh, it's most a joy but to have so many poets and to listen to you all. It's also a long way so I, I won't keep you all that long this evening because you have been most patient uh, with uh, a long way. Uh, first of all, just a small little piece from the last collection of mine, The Funeral Game. I want to invite you in. The door has no house, it stands in a field with a mirror hanging from the sky. Birds fly in from nowhere. You can see a mirage of song dance. You can hear their wings quench the seven stars as dawn begins. The next poem is entitled uh, Black Lows. It's really a celebration of young people and the magic of youth and the magic and the creativity of playing. Young children have an extraordinary ability to build up a magic of their own when they play and they can be most creative. And in many ways I like to write my poems or try to recall that magic. And uh, Young, the psychoanalyst, was very fond of that notion of getting back to the ma magic of childhood. And as a grown psychoanalyst, he actually play repeated, played games and built little houses in the sand. This poem is entitled Black Loads. Black Loads. We weren't given the game. Somewhere out there in the dark dust of childhood, we found it, discovered it bit by bit, and it led us on to the making of bread, baking black loaves whenever the sun shone. It was a summer of black clouds, but we were somewhere else where nothing mattered much. Below in the turf shed by the road, mold and water devouring us, sifting the turf mold into flour, mixing the black dough, sand buckets full of water, our postures changing, kneeling upright, sitting on our hunkers. Cheerful chatter, half listening to one another. Dory said she loved me and might marry me some other summer. Swallows flew in from nowhere. The dog stretched before us, her paws forward, eyes wide open, tail wagging. Watching us mix the mold the black dough slipping through our hands. Des lost concentration for a while and drew a face in the turf mold with his finger. Jimmy, who was working in the yard, shouted in at us. What are you doing with the dog in there? Our hearts were full of the black brilliance then. Trays of turf loads baking in the sun soon crumbled back to mold. But I still feast on the crumbs. Thank you. 